Welcome to this video on naming conventions in Java. So what is a naming convention? It's a set of rules on how to name variables that make the life of a programmer easier. They are used by all professional programmers. They are not required by Java, they are just going to be required by your employer. If you don't name things correctly your employer will not be happy and they tell you with what sort of thing you're di working. Are you working with variable, with a method, with classes, with constants? And by changing the capitalization of your variable names, you can show which of these is being used. So why would you use a naming convention? Well, it helps you when you are programming. You'll be able to see what you're dealing with. It helps the people who want to amend your brilliant code later, and I'm sure it will be brilliant code. It helps your employer, because everyone uses the same rules. Your employer can say, right, you over there, you carry on with this bit of code. And it makes you look professional, and therefore makes you more employable. So let's start at the beginning. What do things start with? Well, the casing in Java matters. Java is case sensitive. So a variable called my name with a big N is different to one called my name with a little n. The casing matters, and you'll have to get it exactly right. Nearly right will never work. All names must start with a letter. That's capital A to capital Z, or little a to little z or they can start with an underscore or a dollar sign. So legal names would be my name with a capital N or underscore capital S special or dollar my salary. But then there are illegal names, ones you shouldn't use. So you can't use two reasons because that won't be a Java variable at all. You can't start with a minus sign, so minus commission. And you can't start with, say, a pound sign, so pounds your salary. There are no spaces ever in any programming language. Do not use spaces in names of things. It will not work. The space means there's a new command coming, or a new bit of the command. So, legal names would be my name, this is OK with underscores, or happy birthday with capital letters. They're all legal. But an illegal name would be my space name, not space OK, or crashes space code. The space always makes your program crash. So names can contain letters, numbers, underscores, or dollar signs. So a legal name would be employee type 27. You can't start with a number, but you can have numbers in there. Or employee underscore type would also be legal. Illegal names would be winner hatch 3 hatch is not a legal character or friend at home at is not a legal character best hyphen food no hyphen or some people call it a minus sign now variables and methods the name of a variable and a method must start with a lowercase letter new words in a name start with an uppercase letter. I'll give you examples of that. So for example, a legal name might be height. My name is made up of two words, so we start the second word with a capital N. Calculate tank volume has three words. So the first one lowercase, and then capital T and capital V for the other two words. Illegal names would be capital H height, or my name all in lowercase, 
or calculate underscore volume. These do not conform to the rules for naming variables or methods. Classes Class names start with an uppercase letter. Programs are classes, so their names start with an uppercase letter. Legal names for a class would be, say, first program, students, and you've seen string many times. String is just a class name. Illegal ones would be first program. The lowercase f makes it look as if it's a variable or a method. Having all lowercase would also be wrong, so my class. Or lowercase string, that would be a variable name. What about constants? Constants and names are made up of all uppercase letters, maybe with underscores to separate the words. Constants use final when being defined. So a legal definition would be string final page heading equals Fred or whatever text you want the page heading to be with the semicolon at the end. Illegal would be string final page heading but the age and edding if you're from South London lowercase would be wrong. Constants are all uppercase always use meaningful names. Use names that describe what's being stored in them or done by them if they're a method. Legal names are height, calculate volume, pi. Illegal names would be H, CV, P. Somebody coming after you will not know what H refers to, will not know what CV does, or will not know that P is a constant. Make sure you use meaningful names so that everybody knows exactly what you're dealing with. 